but it doesn't really matter because he's got Spartacus down and out. The crits are good. Specto takes round number two. We are going to a tiebreaker. Oh. Man, my That's hands are sweaty. Yeah, they're definitely sweaty, oh, man. Nice, boys. This is what we'd like to see. This is what we came here for. Round number three. Are you boys ready? Vote. Now comes the jewel banner. Jewel's being accepted. We've got the countdown from three, getting ready to kick off. And as is traditional with Warriors. The charge comes out, the stun to swap places to build that rage up. First hit by Specto, but he is taking a lot of damage, but this did happen in the last round, and he's just trying to stay alive here. He's already down to halfway through his health. Spartacus sitting in the 70%. 10% left on Specto. He does get the charge off, but what can he do with 10%? It's just one execute away, and he is going to go down without too much Ooh. of a fight in round number three, and Spartacus makes it through and does win the bracket. Absolute champion. <laughs> I'm sick. loving these commentary. This is sick. Good this deal, is mate. Good deal. GG. Alrighty, so with Spartacus progressing his way through the warrior bracket does mean that he is now up against our boy Twisties to get some damage going. Now I know Twisties is eager to get this fight up in here. He's been prepping, he's been getting some items. He may have made a couple of sneaky items, but I ain't going to give away no secrets. But he's ready to crack into this one. Now, if we can have Spartacus and Twisty step forward into the arena, we will have ourselves the fight. Shit, no downtime. The warrior. Twisty. Fucking Spartacus gets no break. Yeah, that's rough. Nah, fuck no. No break. Nah, I'm good. I got this. Oh, That's what I'm looking for. Two minutes on and signal. Nah, we're good. All right, the jewel's out. Twisty's already gone. The stealth approach, I'm waiting for the damage to come out. He does get a good bit of pegging damage. He's got him down to 80% before he can take a hit. But although the sneak approach did come in, Twisty's taken a massive, heavy chunk of damage. He's down into his 20s. Spartacus has been dazed. He's been strutting around, confused as anything. Doesn't know what to do right now. As Twisty's is just sitting there waiting for it, but the Instant charge comes out. Twisty is Fuck down. <laughs> Why didn't he oh, just got clapped from bad. twenty? Have he's got someone I can duel yet? Um, Why well, wouldn't it let me? No. Um, I'll do the I'll do the mage bracket after this, so we can start clapping um, through for you. I was in the mage and um, demoralizing shouted at you uh, straight away. Although we've got no path, so I'm gonna pop that in there. Did I accidentally just buff you, Twisties? Drop the buff, Twisties. Good man. Good man. All right. The countdown has begun. Twisties instant to the stealth. Spartacus just watching him before the countdown begins. You can see he's charging in the direction trying to find him. He's on the backside. 60% already on the screen as Twisties is getting a good bit of damage. This one's looking a bit better. He drops the sap. He can he continue with the damage though? Down to 50, 49, 39 percent, 34, 33. Twisties has got this one dominated. 50 percent, 10. Can he do it? Oh, he is going to get there. He yeah, has got round buddy. number two, and he has taken hardly any damage from that one. All he needs is another repeat from that one. But how many cooldowns did he just use to get into that position? That's the big question. They're both back up to full health. We'll give them their 10 seconds to get prepared for the next fight. Once you are ready, do accept the duel. Round number three has begun, and again, Twisties is going to come out with that quick stun. Usually it's that warrior getting the charge off first, but not in this case. Twisties has continued with the stun as well. Spartacus just left onto the ground. He's now free to do some damage, but he is slow. Twisty's now being hit up a little bit as we do see Spartacus still taking a bit of damage, but Twisty's is taking a lot of damage in response, but does get the stun down. Spartacus could go down here. He's down to 50%, and bang! Twisty's with the crit finishes him off. Man, my insignia has just come off cooldown. <laughs> Fucking rogues. Next time. That was scary, man. Uh, this does progress cool. through. And that does mean that he will be facing the winner of Hot Arm and Lou, but Lou not on yet, so we are going to skip towards the mage bracket. Now, we do have ourselves three mages, as Deceiver isn't here for the time being. So what we'll do is, uh, can I please get opposing Ronda 
and Ron to all give us a roll out of 100. And the the lower two rolls will be going up against each other. The top roll does get seeded through. Well, how about I versus the top roll? No, you're going to verse Cheeky. Oh, okay. Uh, Ronda? Ronda has gone offline. All right, well, well they're gone. I'm going to go mix the <laughs> food around. I was scared. <laughs> Right. Who won the rolls? So, so yeah, it looks like Ron does win the roll off uh, with the 47. So we do have opposing versus El Ronda to start this one up, and I can tell you now, this is the, this is the fight that I'm excited to see. This is what I've been waiting to <laughs> see. Not... Yeah. This is the heavyweight yeah, boy. right here. Wait, Ronda, are you fire spec or are you frost? I don't know yet. Oh, <laughs> oh, mother, oh, motherfucker! Oh, here we go. I think he's frost, man. <laughs> I'm still in PvE fire. <laughs> I can't be bothered respecking. Mage versus Mage. Let's kick it off, boys. Let's get that jewel down. Ronda getting prepared. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Out comes the quick poly, the counter, and counter poly as well. Opposes to the turtle. This is a good spot for Ronda, but what is Ronda going to do with his time now? We can see that uh, there is a bit of time here, but a person breaks it out and blinks away quickly from the flame strike and gets a poly off in response. But now Ronda, he's looking like he might cop a bit of a fire shot as well, but gets out of the oh, gets out of the poly into an ice block. Ronda looking like he's going to come back and swing, and however the turtle has been cast yet again. There has been a little bit of ring of. Oh. Look at that little thrust right there. He's nothing a pose can do just the moment to keep that poly up. Ronda's looking like he may be on the back foot, but here comes the next bit of damage. He's going to take a fireball. He gets the poly off in response, though. He has been taken down to 25% HP. It's ticking away. He's down to 14. The frostbolt being cast. The pose and ready to get back up. He's being put down, but he does get the damage out before more comes against him. So it is going to be a pose and picking up round number one for the mage heavyweight. Do I have to verse Ronda's ult? Uh, yeah. Oh, Winner man. of this will go into fight Ronda. Wait, can we change layers so we're not with this fuckwit just standing in the middle of the battlefield? Yeah. They'll probably do the same thing. Well, we'll, we'll go somewhere else. He's not going to stop when you ask him. <laughs> He's going to do the opposite. Yeah, so let's just go uh, somewhere else. Yeah. yeah. Don't accept that, Jewel. We'll move away with this. Alright, let's go. Go two. And uh, port out, port out, port out. Port you to TB and we'll jump down from TB down to the bottom. Yep, sounds good. Alright. Well, I should do a UC one with a... with a... An, uh, with a, a TB one. Just... Yeah, put down another port. Put some no. put down DC one. We'll just quickly go down and we'll run away. He won't find us. If he, he's going to be a sad cunt to go get a port to TB and then fucking find us. It's right, he won't have time. Let's go. Yeah, Twisties is TB. Doing... So Twisties. we restarting that first one didn't count? No. <laughs> <laughs> Do not take the you wish. port. You pulled me right as I popped my, my PvP trinket too. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so we're, we're going to Thunder Bluff because these pricks are standing in the way. Did you know I was going to do it? No, I didn't, I didn't even think about it. Let's find a nice place in Thunder Bluff. It's just habit. Yeah, good, good journey. Back there. Nice place in Thunder Bluff, gross. I mean, we could be in Thunder Bluff and go up to... What do you mean? Uh, this place is beautiful. Look at it. A nice place in Thunder Bluff is where there's no cow pads on the floor. Where are we going, Thunder Bluff? Yeah, yeah. We're going to TB. Just go to Mongol somewhere. Yeah, you can't duel inside the city. Yeah, just jump down, I reckon. Next to the Duck Moon. Oh, fair. we need another portal. I don't go near the fair. We've got too much. You fly because you got time before your next round. I don't want to fly. Well, tough. Everyone else is gone. 
fucking risk well. inspector. <laughs> well, well, well. Rip. I wouldn't even jump down the platform. Completely missed the platform. But I'm going to risk it now. Bye, Hottie. Ooh. What? <laughs> You're just standing bro. at the top. Hey, friends. Bye, hey, friends. Look at me. I'm flying, boys. Um, where's a good spot in Mongol we can do this? Uh, if you go north of here. Yeah, I was going to say. No one really is going to be north. Or just oh, north of Vam Dark and Fillet Cheeky is pretty good. Got some good, like, terrain. Let's go a little bit further north. Where Man. This nice little bit right here. Nice little flat spot. Looks so much nicer right here than fucking Duratal. I've got the rain yeah, as man. well for, like, um. There's cow shit everywhere, though. Alright, clear this area out. Let's. This is looking good. Any good Still herbs lighting. around here? Uh, Peace Bloom. Hell yeah. I got Peace Bloom right next to me. Do you expect you're going to do some damage, bro? I don't get to touch it. Uh, I got bloody getting random buffs again. Alright. Do we form a circle with our mounts? Form a battle circle. Well, you guys are going to blink out of it, so. <laughs> All right. Have we got a Posen and a Ronda here for round number two? Yep. Fuck, Check out my shit coder. What a shit coder. That is a shit coder. <laughs> With the hand <laughs> of rag. <laughs> All right, can we get the mage heavyweights to enter the ring of death? So they're not even going to fight in the ring of death. Okay. See how it is. Is it ring of death? <laughs> Posen does get that poly off first, and now Ronda is back to turtle form. You can see that he's already charging up the fire spell. Fireball coming up, but the ice block has been put down, so no damage has been taken. You can see that uh, there is a polymorph also being cast. It does actually land off, so really good timing there from Posen. Uh, Ronda on the back foot. There is another spell being cast. You can see both hands of fire right there as it is going to come out, and bam goes the pyroblast. Ice block has been cast yet again just to throw off Posen, although Posen straight on with another polymorph does get Aronda back to full health. You can see that uh, this may become a battle of attrition as Aronda yet to actually use too much of a spell that wastes his mana, but he's down to 63% HP. Opposing still in 100. Aronda just ticking away with a bit of fire there. Does get counterspelled. There's nothing he's going to be able to do here except for oh. bend the knee. And Aronda is down and out, and Opposing takes it. Two wins to nil. What an absolute legend just there and that does mean that we do have El Posen stepping through and he is going to be going up against El Ronda well just the Ronda I should say as uh, he is going to be uh, there we go fixing up my bracket he is going to be fighting it out for the mage class winner right here what what is this what is what? A Ronda and Rond. No, nah, it's it's Rond versus a person. Hey, he paid the fees. He paid the fees. Wow. I expect like... better. Uh... Yeah, can I bring my mage and my priest then? <laughs> if you pay yeah. the fees, go for yeah. it. Nah, fuck that. <laughs> hey, 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 hey Spectre, speaking of paying fees. Yeah, I said, who do I pay the fees to before? Me. You. Hey, they're doing. I want some God damn it, commentary. Man. Ron has been turtled already. I don't think he can do the turtle back, but he's going to take a lot of damage. He's down to 20%. He does manage to get something on opposing, but it's just too little too late as Ron <laughs> does <laughs> lose the first round. <laughs> I I the technical term for that one is he just got fucking collapsed, son. And uh, he is now going to have to get himself back up to full health, and we're going to start round two. Opposing looking really strong. Uh, may just win this with a clean sweep. He only has to win this one, and uh, he's going to be going absolute bonkers to do so. Meanwhile, we did just pick up a new member to the guild, so give him that's, a uh, welcome. That's Bedian. This Bedian's old. Cool beans, cool beans. All right, you can see that these two majors are getting ready for their next battle. As Ronda. 
not quite at full HP. Not sure what the go is there, but he is going to be starting to cast himself up. A person already going out with the fireball, but they are going to both cancel their spells. Polymorph going to come out before Ron can get the Frostbolt. Poison is just going to take a step back. Polly again, get himself prepared for the big combo damage that we know he's going to do. A third Polly is going to come out. This one doesn't look like a Polly, but the Ice Block comes out to counter it. The Polly's being cast. He's still Ice Blocked. The Polly is just being consta-casted right here. Nothing that Ron is going to be able to do that one. The Fireball now being channeled by Opposing as Ron takes a massive bit of damage just there. You can see the Flames coming out everywhere. Ron is going to cast that Polly. It's actually going to turn around onto Opposing. Some, some good turnarounds there. Although Opposing, he's going to get the Polly back off. And you can see Ron, he's actually taking a healing from this. And this may just get Ron back into a fighting shape. But Opposing, he's going to come out with that big, big damage just there. But Ron doesn't care about that. He is going to cast that Polly. And now he's going to cast a bit of a fire spell of design. Those hands are glowing with the flame. And Opposing gets sent down to 60 HP. The cone doesn't quite connect. Opposing is going to get taken down to 50 HP here. No idea where Ron just went to as he blinks off to the side of the map, but he's come back in 30% versus 45%, 18-8 now on Ron. Opposing's just going to oh. arcane spam him down, and that is going to be Opposing taking out the mage bracket. Clean sweep, nothing to ado about that, and that is going to be all she wrote for the rest of the mages as Opposing is uh, he's going to sit pretty. He's going to be happy about that, that one. That was some clutch counter spelling. All right. Uh, Spawn, are you there or are you gone? I've got a second, yeah. Cool. Spawn, let's go. You and Cheeky, you guys are going to go up against each other. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Oh, That's yes. a rough start. It is a very rough start as we do have ourselves uh, what is going to be the Shaman Powerhouse versing the Warlock Powerhouse. And I can tell you now, it's not going to be pretty for this one. Because uh, I don't know if you've seen Cheeky. Cheeky is a big man. He loves the PvP. He's already got his totem down. He's ready to go. He just needs to drop that dueling command. And uh, Spawn, I'm sure, will accept in a momentarily. But we are doing the countdown. And this fight is about to begin. Can we get some bets on time on this one? As we do see the chain lining being casted out. 80% left on Spawn. Spawn has been able to get, uh, I think, a dot out. And this is going to get Cheeky down low. Spawn, though, he has to deal with the grounding totem. Widen's just being sent all against him right now. The totems, Cheeky, everything about it has been big. Spawn needs a quick heal. And then we'll get into round number two. You can see now he's going to look to get that pet out. Going to use what he can for his benefit, which is definitely a good tactic to play as a warlock. As a Cal Gak enters the field. The wonderful spawned voidling that he does have. The totems are being put out yet again. Cheeky just going to reset on this one. Good, interesting choice of totems. You can see that Cheeky is a bit of a seasoned veteran on this one. The jewel command has been given, has been accepted. Cheeky just going to stay near his totems. He's going to use this to his advantage. You can see the chain lightning coming out as Spawn tries to get a cast off as well, but it does look like an Earth Shock did come out and cancel him there. He's down already to such a low health, and there's going to be not much that can be done here in this one. And Spawn, unfortunately, gets a little bit of the clapping in response, and Spawn, unfortunately, that's two to zero. Cheeky Bolt's going to take out the win for that one, which does mean that we have got ourselves a cheeky moving forward to take on uh, Opposin, I believe, in this oh, one. Oh, God fucking damn it. <laughs> the Battle of the Casters. As, uh, as it would be. Yeah. We're doing pre-casting of totems okay? I'm yeah, not sure fine. that's cool. Yeah, no, that's fine. You're only saying that because you're a fucking shammy. I'm only saying that because every other class has been casting things beforehand. How? Like what? Well, let's see. You've got uh, the Warriors getting into the stance first, so they know what uh, the preemptiveness that they can do. Although the battle's already begun. Posen trying to get the poly off. Does get Earthstruck straight away. Cheeky looking to get the chain Oh, actually does get cancelled in response. Poison still trying to get uh, a little bit of a poly out, but looks like the grounding totem definitely still cancelling everything off there. Poison has been put down to 90 HP. Cheeky yet to be touched. The fire bolt's trying to come out, but uh, Cheeky's just going to run it in and finish it off. So that is going to be the first round going to Cheeky Bolts. As Poison, for the first time in the tournament, does actually lose a round. That is some spicy stuff. 
spicy damage coming out. Now, if Opposin wanted to be quick here, he should go straight up and cast that uh, that vote to Jewel for Cheeky to straight away get into the action. Cheeky quickly trying to spam out his totems. Now, while a little bit of uh, quick spamming does help, Opposin's going to start coming in. He does take a chain lightning to the face. As Cheeky runs it forward, Earthshock, no surprise there to cancel that spell. Pozen just going to get himself a little bit of distance away from those totems. However, the Granny Totem has been replaced down. And Cheeky's just going to continue trying to get some cast, but he does get polyed. And this is really good for Opposing. Opposing can get the damage down. He's going to go for a quick first aid to get himself back up in the healing and get himself a little bit of HP. He's going to go for another quick poly as well, just to keep Cheeky Pulse down. But Cheeky instantly cancels, cancels it out. The Granny Totem does get taken, although Cheeky has been taking a little bit of damage now. He's down to 58% HP. Opposing's on 42. The Searing Totem has been put down. The Earthshock has been cast. Cheeky Pulse 8. Opposing 3. Oh, oh Opposing clutches God. it out. And Cheeky. <laughs> He does lose a round! Oh my lord! That's epic, that what one. What was that? That was epic. Well done. Look at Shave the little bitch standing between us, Torrance. Alright, we are gonna go with the deciding round here. This is a best of three. Cheeky versus Opposin. This round does win it. Jewel's about to start. And isn't this, you know, Posen just making sure he keeps his ground. He doesn't want to give up too much. The Jewel has started. You can see the cast of the Fireball, but it is going to get picked up by that grounding totem. The Polymorph now going to come out, though, and Cheeky is going to get polyed. Opposing, though, did take a pretty big damage shot to himself, and he's going to quickly do the first aid yet again. Just get himself back up. Going to polymorph a girl. He's going to make sure that Cheeky Bolt is going to stay just disabled for the moment as he does get a really good shot down. Takes down to 46, but the totems have been recast back out. He's been moved oh, forward. God oh my damn. lord, what just happened as Cheeky Bolt blows up a posing? 1.8k crit. Woo. Cheeky. That going through. Good deal. He's going to be the winner of the Carson man. bracket. That was fun. But, oh my that lord. Was. That was some big damage coming out right there. Now, we will be moving into the healer's bracket, as I'm sure Lou is going to be getting online shortly to be able to take on Hot Arm. So what we'll do, healers, healers. Um, I'm going to need everyone to roll out of 100 here. The top two uh, will be fighting each other. The bottom two will be fighting each other. I'm going to let her know it's in Thunderbluff. Oh, she's brother. She sits right next to me, she knows. All right, so it looks like we have ourselves a Chook Vorm versus Sheevil and a Singe versus Cop. Now, it will be Chook Vorm and Sheevil stepping forward. Now, this is this is a big one, boys. This one is for all the pennies as it's a challenge to see who has the highest healing power. I believe at the moment, uh, our boy Chook Vorm sits closely to the 860 mark. Is that close? Or is it 912? Oh. 965. 965. Shivel though, is no shy to it. What, tell, what are you sitting at, Shivel? What's your healing power right now? Oh, you're in your PvP gear. DPS gear. Don't ask me. What's he got different to me? That's the big question. I'm going all out. He's going all out. He's got he's got himself a few momentum down. He does have that rejuvenating gem on. It looks like he's going the three set of transcendence. Now he's only got one of the prophecy, but he's also got the three set of the Zandala. Now, if Shiva wants to step forward, Chuck, Shiva, I want a clean healing fight going on. Realize that I'm not set up. 
fight has begun and Tangler Roops has come out from Chook as he does move straight into what he can of Boomy. Shiva though, he's got that Holy Fire being casted as uh, it does come down and actually gets Chook down to oh, it's quite a low number here. 20% for Chook, he's casting that regrowth and he's going to be able to get it off as uh oh he does manage to get himself back into full health but the constant damage is coming out shivel constantly peppering does have that bubble on him at the moment so not taking too much damage as chook decides that uh, the boomy mahoch may not be the best way to go gets a little bit closer with his cat although he's just going to be running down the ring at the moment as they're moving further and further up this hill you can see the starfire being cast the holy fire being sent in response Shivel going to take a bit of damage but chook is just getting peppered here but the regrowth is quick cast is able to get back on he's able to get back up and healing and this could be a fight to see who runs out of mana first. At the moment, Shivel not sitting pretty with the mana. And uh, he actually is going to get feared away. Shivel continues with that holy fire. And Chuck is going to start casting back. He's got a good amount of uh, mana on him. Shivel not looking so pretty in that aspect. Mana burn, though, is going to get cast. And Chuck, he may just end up losing a lot of that mana that he's got left. He's now down to 21%. More holy fire being cast. That's actually going to get cancelled in that one as Chuck going to just continue peppering that Starfire, putting Shivel into a position that uh, he doesn't normally like to be in, which is under that halfway mark on his health, but there's no matter he can do or use to spend on healing at this stage, as uh, we do see Chook just running up off into the distance just there, and uh, he's still pretty healthy at the moment, he still does have quite a fair bit of mana, but Shivel just going to hide him with the crowd for the moment. Uh, he's actually going to go over the back if we can get the crowd just moving to the side and clearing the way so no one is interfering because he is quite a small character. Although the Mind Blast, uh, he's just teasing us with all these different spells at the moment. As he does start casting, but Chook is continuing casting of himself as well. You can see Shivel just running around trying to dodge where the Starfire hits the ground. Not quite how that one works, but he is still in the game right here. 63% on Shivel and it uh, looks like that poor Mr. Chook is going to cop another fear and get sent way back up the hill. Now, this is what we call a jewel. This one is never going to be quick, although the cat form does come out. He's going in swinging. Sheevil's on the back foot. He's just trying to run away at this stage, although he does have the upper hand in terms of the damage being done, but it's just too close for Sheevil to like this one. He does get a quick heal onto himself. Chook is still chasing him down, trying to get what he can in terms of damage, but Sheevil's just not letting him have an easy attempt at this one. He changes back to the boomy, does get some damage down. He's down to 20% HP. Sheevil just needs to be able to get something more onto him. Chook may need to try and find somebody to heal, but he is out of mana, down to 7%. Sheevil may be able to turn this one around. I didn't think it was going to happen. The ones are now being casted, and Chook form has taken a knee for round number one, and Sheevil does actually take it out. What a massive turn. Damn, that, that was long. I went to whack you with my rag. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, a quick reset, quick mana pickup for these two powerhouses. And I must say... Oh, gotcha. Yeah. That's the whole point of it. So, Shivel, 6.2k mana. Chook, 6.1k mana. So, fairly even in that aspect. Uh, and fairly even in the health respect as well. Chook with 4,046 and Shivel with 4,009. So, it really just does come down to who can actually get the most efficiency out of their mana. interesting to see if uh, Chook does decide to uh, change anything up a little bit. Nothing else I can do. <laughs> we just suck. All right, the next round about to begin. Chook has put away the hand of Raggy. He's still got his lock and ears out. Massive, that was a rule. Massive damage item right there. It is a rule. Chook already being sent away. I've got the wrong trinket on. Fuck. If we could just make sure the audience that are watching just continue to clear out the cougars and harpies and things like that, that would be fantastic. Chook down to 27 HP so early on. The healing touch being cast. You can see the holy fire being cast in response as well. Just as Chook heals, he does take damage back. It is a bit of a challenge at the moment. Chook just trying to stay on top of the damage being dealt to him. He's going to get himself down to 39 HP as Shivel continues the holy fire. Although the big full health does come now. I'm sure that was a nature swiftest cast right there as Chook continues on with that star fire. Just trying desperately to get the win on this one as Shivel trying to use the commentator as a bit of a bracket 
just there, but it's not going to help him now. But Shook still taking all the damage in this one. The bubble from Sheevil is just really strong at this stage. It almost looks like he's got nothing against him. Now the Chook form has gone into the bear form and does come out just to cancel one of the Sheevil spells. He goes try and do a bit himself. He tanks a lot with this form, but he's down to 20% HP. Sheevil barely touched this one. The fear has been sent out. Sheevil casting the Holy Fire yet again. It's going to take shook down to eight percent he needs to get a heal off he's going to just cast that regrowth it's going to get him going back up in the right direction however that holy fire is going to do the deed and uh i think we have ourselves a winner we do Sheeple taking out the bracket for druid versus priest that does mean that he does move forward and GG, mate. GG. Let me pick someone up. So, Sheevil progressing round one of the healer's bracket. Up next, we do have Cop versus Singed. <sighs> no, that's all right. Singed. So you went in here the crowd. <laughs> dick. Come on, Singed. You got this, mate. Come on forward. Come up here. Come over to me. Jumping around at the top of the hill here. All right. You versus me. And remember, audience, keep on uh, clearing those harpies out. We don't want any tiny bits of damage coming in if we can avoid it. Who's commentating right. this one? Um, who would like to give it a crack? Specto. What? That's the worst. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know fucking spells. I don't even know what kind of cast them. Just tell us what he's Copped saying, with right? that shitty hat. Uh, Other guy with the shitty hat. With him. <laughs> Copped with the turbid. Puts lightning shield on. What what happened? <laughs> Singe puts on a bubble. I think Singe is going for the totems. Indeed he is. Oh, Singe is holding over him. Copped yeah, but... running and whacking him. Make it like, sound really I'm depressing. Good. <laughs> Singe with the mind blast and Singe with the holy fire. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like copies down to thirty seven percent health. Yeah, I'm, I'm taking a lot of damage just here. Self commentary, it's here. Oh, oh cop get he pulled out the battle chicken. Chicken. Oh, dragon, dragon. dragon. Oh, the battle chicken. And the battle chicken. Oh, the battle chicken <laughs> coming in big. I thought Tom Tank was a battle chicken. Yeah. That's one win to Sinji. Nice little uh, two Very sword generous. forty bow popping up in the middle of the fight. <laughs> uh, can I actually bring get any water and food off people? Do you mind if I get some from you, Pope? Try me. That's all I've got on me right now. But that should yeah. do you. Yeah, that's all I need. Oh, that's beast, that bow. All right. I think a big thing is front hand strips. <laughs> it's just front hand strips. It's called butt pug. I'm going to help him kill shit. All right, you ready? And he's going to try and give himself a little bit of distance. And he does actually achieve it. Uh, he's using the, the battle, battle chicken. chicken. Battle chicken. Uh, Joe boy. Battle chicken. <laughs> All my money on the chicken. I'm going to need you to slow down for me. Can we put symbols on the two guys drilling? Because they're moving around so much. Yeah. That's a good idea. I'll, um, Just do a mid draw, man. Who's red lead? I am. Yeah, can you just do that real quick? <laughs> <laughs> Did you make anyone assist? No. No. Oh, resist my fucking earth shock just there. That's a bit of a pain in the ass. You're resisting every single earth shock that I'm throwing out. This is um, this is actually annoying. Get him, Sinji boy. Very low. 
the ones might be coming out soon. I guess a nerf shock off. Without a matter now. You could beat me in this one, right? <laughs> I might lose because I'm out of the fucking jewel range and I have to run back in. Oh. Sent her awkward one is quiet. Sent with the holy fire, copped with the lesser healing wave. Oh, that's a big hill. Oom again. That MP5 really helping the Copticans. Oh, for fuck's sake. The resistance is helping. Wait, Shea, well, you know we're supposed to be in full healing gear. Jeez, I'm no comment. Yeah, his healing's like higher than mine, usually. Can you just stay over there, Singe? Anyone want this 12 copper? <laughs> oh, there Singe we go. Is going down. No matter, no health. <laughs> oh, One God, all. After gosh. all of that. Comes with the, the tea bag. So long since I've healed like this. It was actually a lot more fun than I thought it was going to be, to be honest. Yeah, only half as cringe as I imagined. The, the dueling def uh, the commentary gives it a definite bit of hype as well. Oh, yeah, big time. I think you're doing it very, very well. I just wish I could duel someone that doesn't ground my freaking spells. Did someone give Singe some really bad water or something? What's taking so long? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Singe has got more mana than I do. Oh, that's what it is. I was looking at the percent. Yeah, I'm going to go my T1 healing set. This is my raid healing set. Hate to point it out, but Singe also has Mark of the Wild. <laughs> I didn't think that was going to be <laughs> All right. Ready when you're up. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Can someone clear that? Thank you. Oh, oh, you might fear, have it. The fear, the fear. Oh. Fear, got him. Nice, nice one. one. GG. I'm like, I'll be fine. I'll just nature swiftness a heal. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Singe going through. Good duels, fellas. So next up, we do have a priest versus priest. We have ourselves Sheeple versus Singed. Oh, well, this will be a good one. Yeah. Oh, right <laughs> You know, it's just Singe, right? No, no yes, D. Yes, I do know. You're doing that too Syringe. Much. Playing too much League. Nah, it's like the S on the end of Kent's for all our ranks. He just does it to shit, Chooka. Uh, <laughs> I thought it was signage. <laughs> so it's not Singed? Fury Run was calling him signage yesterday. Signage. 
Yeah, but he also calls the what is it? The decider. The decider. All right, boys. When you guys are ready, check down that duel. Nothing beats that guy calling that that dude Hatam. Hatam. Mat- Mato. Lou, stop chasing him around. We need to give him space. Jim Buffet. All right, we do have ourselves a bit of a fight coming out here. We're going to answer straight away with the mana burn, as does Singe, though. They're just trying to burn away at everything that they've got to stop those heals from coming through, although Sheeple does end up taking a little bit of distance so the spell doesn't cast, but the second attempt does definitely come through. Sheeple already on that Holy Fire. Going to cast it down on the Singe. Singe is going to do a bit of a bubble, but he's still being damaged a little bit. He's going to start casting that second mana burn, which uh, I'm not sure if this connects through a bubble, but it does look like it is actually taking effect. There, Sheeple down to 25% H, uh, mana, I should say, already, but Singe also also in a similar sort of boat. The castings continue to be done, but Sheeble now out of mana. Singe, what can he do with this? It's all going to come down to a case of who can clap the hardest with the staff, which is just going to take its time, take its toll. Mana burn going to come out from Sheeble. Sheeble's just going to continue doing his own bit of damage, although Singe looks like he's now down and out as well, and you can see the Holy Fire is being switched over for Sheeble. They're now out of everything that they can bubble with. Smite going to come out from Singe. Sheeble, though, is just going to continue the one slapping as there's not much that these guys can do with each other you can just see that the ones are both fire ones whether that makes a difference we don't know he'll actually going to get ca- charged and casted from singe and he's actually going to be able to get himself back in a good spot she was going to get feared away Singe is going to continue with that one clapping and you can see a couple of good shots coming in and she he's been sent out of the arena he needs to get back in quickly before the timer does run out and it becomes an automatic win for singe but he's now back inside that distance and singe has actually got himself down and he's trying to get himself a little bit of man on the back however you can see that uh, Sheba not having a bar, but he's going to cast himself a good little bit of mana burn and fear him away. And he's going to also chuck down the smite. Nothing that Singe can do right here. He's running it away up the hill as uh, it looks like we are going to get a little bit of the smite sent back in response. Although it is looking pretty much like an even sort of battle here. Singe going to cast himself a mana burn, but the Holy Fire is going to get cancelled off from it as we are down to pretty much equal HP here. 43% to 42%, 41. This is just going to be a clapping of the one she was going to start casting a mana burn to stop him from being able to cast the spell himself although he is uh, looking like he may get a smite off as she was being taken down a little bit but the little bit of heals are coming through these guys are still tanking it up seems on the mana burn not giving she a moment to regen any mana what he can Singe coming in here feeling very underconfident is actually going to be stepping up pretty big. Sheeple's going to run off. And he's actually going to use himself a bandage, going to keep himself back up into the high 70s in terms of his percentage to health. Singe already casting that mana burn. It's going to hit down hard. Mana burn, though, going to come back out from Sheeple and it's going to keep him down nice and low. We're looking at the single digits in percentage for mana. And even then, it's 60 mana that these guys have got. The casting has come out. Sheeple's been able to get a bubble on, which could be a massive difference just here. Singe, he did get a couple of spells out, although he doesn't have that bubble and he's taking a couple of one claps back. And uh, the distance just going to get given here so these guys can get a little bit of mana, get a little bit of reset. Sheeple, though, is on the hunt. He's not getting that uh, distance too far as he does send out a spell. Singe not able to cast this as he does get stunned. That could be massive in the long term here. Singe is going to keep on pushing forward. He's going to try and get close. He's got something up his sleeve that he wants to try and use. We haven't seen the return of the battle chicken as it has been eliminated, but Sheevil going to go in with the Holy Fire. He's going to get some good damage down. Singe down 6%. One, he is gone. That's round number one. Two, Sheevil, the big boy himself, clapping it up big. As we do get the healing reset. Both these boys. Back up a bit, guys. Going to be getting drinks done. Spawn. Spawn's AFK. He's doing his cooking. So you guys will have to go over here to fight. If you can. Oh, no. Spawn's there. Cool. I'm finished cooking now. Sweet. Just baking myself. Hey. Hey. All right. Round number two. Are we going to see Sheeble take a clean sweep? And that means he will go through undefeated. Out of the healer's bracket. You can see a little bit of prep work coming out. Singe uh, just going to be getting himself prepared. You can see a couple of buffs apiece. They're definitely prepared for this fight. The duel has begun. It's just a bit of a chase at the moment. You can see that they are just going to cast down that Shadow of Pain upon one another. 
On a little bit more coming out against uh, Singe as he does have that Devouring Plague on him as well. Uh, just like that, though, the Weakened Soul has been cast against Sheeple, but Sheeple doing a lot of damage. He's not messing around here. He's going for a quick win. He's got him down to 10%, 3%, 6%. Can Sheeple finish it off? He does indeed. Singe unable oh. to get through the round. That was the quickest, quickest resto fight that we've seen to date. As Shiva just brushes his shoulders off and moves aside, but that is Shiva moving through, and he is going to be going up against Cheeky next. But before we get into that fight, we're going to have ourselves a little bit of torn on torn action here as uh, the hunter, Lulu Mononoki, going to step forward and take on Hot Arm, the Feral Druid. Torn on torn action. Where is Hot Arm? He's, in He's right in the middle. Room. Yeah, but is he in the group? Yeah, no, I dropped just in case I get raid mark. <laughs> oh, he doesn't want to get raid mark when he goes stealth. Oh, good point. Good point. But still stay in the group because then I can actually see what the hell's going on in terms of. All right, don't mark me though, or I'll be angry. I won't mark you. I'm marking you. All right. Rebuff your mark. It's all going to fail this one. Oh, Lulu's got mark as well. And yeah, for... Luke, you need to remove the mark of the wild for both there. Just by clicking. Make sure you get your aspect and everything set first. Uh, same for you, Hottie. If you've got anything you can precast, get it precasted. When I'm you guys good. are ready, slash oh, yeah, all, and let's get it on, ladies and gentlemen. All right, ready. Hot arm, not allowing any distance in between. Now, we've seen Lou fight quite a fair bit, and Broken Tooth is usually the first thing to die in any fight she's involved with. Is that going to be the case <laughs> in the fight today? As Hot Arm, he's gone into his cat form, but a flare has been casted out. It's actually not on point, though, but Hot Arm does come in swinging. He's actually nice up close to person. Does actually get stunned. A quick little damage shot just there as Lou's trying to get herself some distance, trying to use a bow. May not get that opportunity to do so as Hottie's right up in the face just there. We do have ourselves a bit of damage. Lou swinging around a sword bigger than herself as Hot Arm goes back to normal form actually start casting the regrowth gives a chance for Lou to get some distance does get some spells out however she backpedals instead of turning and running and that could be the end of her as she is now up close and personal yet again with Hot Arm Hot Arm taking a bit of damage although Hot Arm does have that serpent sting against him uh, I'm not sure how much that does affect the feral druid in the tank form uh, but you can see that Hot Arm not giving any space to breathe right here as Lulu is going to get taken down to 20 HP and uh, she is almost done and out for the count. And you can see 15 HP left on Lulu. However, Hot Arm, he is going to take a lot. And that is going to be the knee bent from Lulu just there. She's, she's, going she's in the group either. Arm. She's in the group either. Oh, fuck's sake. You're like, and you can see she's down 20% health. I'm like, where? <laughs> I asked for an invite. I was up close and personal. That's why I can see it. Good job. Hot Arm's a machine. Jeros, what do I know this name from? Who is it? Behind us. Why is that name familiar? Don't know. Project. Project of Fern Sala. Yeah, that, we used to do shit with them. All right, round number two for Hot Arm and Lou will begin shortly. Now, I probably would suggest to Lou that she might be trying to get a little bit of distance between Hot Arm at the start and not really. Hey, 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 hey. Well, you yeah, have to accept the duel first. You ready? We hang on. Oh, sorry. Alright, I'm ready. A lot of things at disposal right here as we do see Hotty going straight into cat form. He's gonna try and do his best to just confuse the crap out of Lulu. Lulu does chuck a do, flare out. Do, Doesn't do. seem to be effective at the moment. She's probably watching the cop screen. No, I've got a tilted away from her. Hot Arm does get up close and personal. He's already starting to cast some magic as well. The Starfire does come down. However, Lou has been taken down to half HP pretty much as she's trying to get the distance but can't seem to get away. No real spells are being casted out just yet 
as Hodam does look like he is just getting so close and personal this one. He wants to get this fight done. He wants to finish off and dumpster the hunter. He wants to prove that Druids can do it, even if Chuk couldn't do it in the previous rounds. But he's still going to stand up strong. Some more spells ca getting casted out. He's actually going to go for the stomp. And that is going to be nice. all she wrote as Lou does lose. And hot arm stepping forward to take home that beautiful, beautiful win just there. Which means in this next round, we are going to have ourselves a hot arm versus twisties. Oh, shit. Get them, Twisties. <laughs> My trigger's on cooldown, so. <laughs> of course. <laughs> you wasted your trinket against Lulu. Have, have an entertainment yeah, jewel for uh, cooldowns. Here we have yeah. Copdor and some painting. Yeah. Just, just wasting some time. All righty. Yellow and orange does not make red. It, it's not supposed to. Red's just the unknown color for the moment. It's racist. You're racist. All right. Twisties is already out. He's ready for this fight. He wants this duel to happen. He's been preparing for this. Watch them cut laps in circles while they're stealth rages. <laughs> Get him, stealthies. How does stuff fights even work? Someone gives up or nah, give him the opener. It's fine. You find each other. Yeah, hold on to freaking druid. Shapeshift our stunts. Alright, let's get this duel underway, boys and girls. Not all of them anyway. Ooh, the not short sword of strength has dropped. That could be a game changer yes. if someone wants to pick that up. Solid two silver forty four copper. Alrighty. Twisties has actually gone into the stealth form. Hot arm not choosing to take that option. That actually does get him stunned. He thought he could get in there quick before Twisties did it. However, Twisties is just looking at to punish this opportunity. He does get what he can down against Hot Arm. There was the crippling, but he has removed that one off. He's trying to put it back on, but still Hot Arm is just getting rid of that poison every single time it pops up. Hot Arm though, down under 50% HP. Twisties still is sitting pretty healthy at 80%. However, Twisties is going to get stunned and that's going to give a chance for hot arms to run away get some healing done he's going to look to get some space he's going to start casting that regrowth although oh twisties coming up with the grenade it's going to get hottie down to one that he's done just like well, that well grenade beautifully positioned game changer that made go chuck fairy fire on bro yeah he did he went stealth again Kobe. You went off with me for telling Lou to get some distance, and here you are giving tips. Yeah, I'm not the fucking. Ho I'm not the host. <laughs> Round number two, set to begin. The duel has been submitted. Twisty's taking the stealth approach early. The duel has begun. Twisty's not able to get the stun down this time, but still getting a lot of damage put onto Hot Arm, although he's taken a lot back. This is a bit of a battle this time round. As Twisty's down to 62% HP, as is Hot Arm. They are just dookied out with one another. Twisty's though has been stunned. Hot Arm's going to look to take a bit of a distance himself. He's going to start casting those heals. He's already got a good bit of portion of HP back, but the fight has ensued. Twisty's popping that speed to get close. Twisty's just needs one more round to be able to clear himself through. Hot Arm going to get uh, what looks to be gouge just there stops him from moving for that little bit of time has does get stunned as well the kidney shot taking full effect twisties though down to 39 hp and uh hold on he's still at that 38 percent but the first aid coming through using and abusing the blind just here as Honam is just walking circles and Twisty straight to the bum shot right there in for the poke and Honam is oh. going down and out and Twisty's, my God, he makes it through. He is standing pretty and he is going to be the first person that's going to get through towards that uh, beautiful, right. beautiful finals that will be coming up. Uh, but first, uh, this is going to be an interesting fight as we do have ourselves... Uh, what is going to be cheeky bolts versus shevel? Um, any any guesses here? 
ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, who do we think is going to go through for this one? Oh, Shivel's definitely a better healer. <laughs> but a better PvP. -er. Fuck that grounding totem. <laughs> All right, Shivel, step forward, my friend. You are going up to bat. Specto just going to do a quick inspect on the cheeky bolts. You're fighting. You, you, you're going up to swing at this one. Oh, I was just seeing what gear he had. <laughs> all right, the duel has been set. You can see that Cheeky Bolts has surrounded himself in all his totems. Uh, the grounding totem, specifically the big one, that uh, does play a massive effect against some of these people. But oh my lord, the chain lightning does come out. A good little bubble does come out to stop any ensuing damage afterwards. Cheeky Bolts just going to look to try and hold his ground a little bit. The Holy Fire is going to get cast while Chain Lightning does get cast yet again. 20% of damage gone instantly every single time. This one does seem to be cast. Smite getting cast by Sheeple, although Lightning Bolts are just being sent out. Although HP is pretty much even at this stage. Cheeky Bolts forced to actually do a little bit of heal. The Mana Burn coming out from Sheeple. This is not going the way that Cheeky Bolts is one of the two. Sheeple though down to 32% HP but does have the bubble on his head. He's looking to go for a bit of Holy Fire. However, it didn't get to be casted as we did see a good bit of Earthshock being casted. Sheeple looking to get, and get himself some distance. The Tremor Totem has been put out, although it's not going to be ticking at the right time. And unlucky for Cheeky Bolts, he's been sent to the other side of the map, and that's going to give time for Sheeple to reset himself. He's got himself back up to full HP. You can see that Cheeky Bolts has actually taken the knee himself. He's looking to get himself that good bit of healing and mana regen as he's back to halfway. Sheeple, though, respecting the distance just here doesn't want to uh, give him too much as he just wants the mana back as well. 6,000 mana versus 5,500 mana. It definitely is a lot to recover, but the fight's going to come out of the same. Searing Totem has been popped. Sheeva going to take a little bit of damage from that one. He's also going to get clapped with a little bit of nothing as he does get the bubble up in place. Sheeva, though, does get hit by something else. They take him down to 46% HP. Lightning Bolts are coming out from Cheeky Bolt, but it's going to put him on 8% HP, and there's the Chain Lightning to finish it off, and Cheeky Bolts takes round number one. Ooh, these guys are spicy. I thought you that had it there juicy. for a second, Sheeple. I thought you got too close for what Cheeky Bolts was wanting it to be. All right, get your mana back up. Remember, the winner of this best of three does go through to a best of five against Twisties. Do I actually get to fight anyone else? No. Damn. <laughs> we should organize like a loser's bracket um, next time. Yeah, I will be. Yeah, not I was going to try and do one tonight, but it didn't get to happen. And we could have maybe like two, two duels going at the same time. Yeah, I need to have people to help me organize that. I'll scout to uh, do the duels. You can have main arena and the uh, the other arena. Can we do the final? And just get the point? healers to start two hours early. They need their own. They just need to go the whole time. Uh, sorry, the fight's already begun. I haven't been paying attention. Sheevil and Cheeky Bots are both battling up. Sheevil taking the first bit of damage for the fight as a lot of it has been sent around the Searing Totem right next to Sheevil and he's just taking three damage at this stage while he starts casting. You can see Chain Lightning though being casted out. Lightning Bolt was going to get cast but he cancelled to reposition himself. Sheevil down to 30% HP as the damage just continues through 6%. Sheevil healing and he's not going to be able to heal quick enough and that is going to be Sheevil out. Cheeky Bolt's taking it through two rounds in a row. She will put up a good fight, but in the day, the big powerhouse, Cheeky Bolts, does end up qualifying himself through. And that means that we are going to have ourselves a wondrous, wondrous finisher here as Cheeky Bolts will be taking on Twisties for the final. Now, winner of this uh, does get 63 gold. The second place gets 18 gold. So there's some good bit of gold up for grabs for these two. We need a new arena. Let's go to Why? UC. Why? Who's here now? Nah, just for the final battle. Maybe next time. 
Oh yeah, like you've entered the Shadow Realm. Mortal Kombat. <laughs> yeah, no. We'll definitely find somewhere nice to do it. I think it was that, uh, that hidden little place that we found while uh, no one else knows what I'm talking about. Never mind. Under Oak. All right, the battle has begun. Twisty's already going invisible. Cheeky just trying to step forward. Does cast himself a good bit of AoE damage just there. Cheeky is still sitting strong, but he has been gouged by the looks of things. Oh, sorry, sapped. He's actually been sapped. That's a long CC right there. Kidney shot coming out straight away. Twisty's actually getting frozen from Cheeky. And Cheeky actually looking to put a bit of... Uh, a good step in place. Throws down the Earthbind Totem just to slow down Twisties. Twisties still not letting this one go. They're just slugging it out. They're slapping the noodles as quickly as possible. And Cheeky's actually going to end oh. up losing round number one. Bends the knees. Twisties winning what he can with 44% of his HP left. Good start to the final round, which, like I said, best of five. So, so Twisties needs to win another two to clear this one. Whereas Cheeky needs to win three from here to be able to step on top. Jewel has been submitted. Twisties is going into stealth mode straight away. Cheeky just surround himself with as many totems as possible. Has got the searing totem out. But he's not looking to try and pop Twisties out of stealth just yet. Has definitely changed up the totems that he's using against Twisties, although Twisties does manage to get thwarted. He's got that sap down as well. He's using this opportunity just to clear out the totems. And that's actually going to be everything reset for Cheeky. Cheeky is now out of his sap. But he's just going to get hit up yet again. He's cleared of it once more, but he's starting to take some damage. He has been blinded, which is just going to make him dance around a little bit. A little bit of first aid coming out for Twisty. He's just getting himself back up 100% HP. As he goes back into stealth, he's going to come forward. He's going to once again cheap shot Cheeky on this one. Moves it in towards the gouge. Does get the kidney shot as well. Cheeky Bolt's just got nothing he can do with this one. Is just getting hit from behind. Ugh. And Twisties is just going to stand strong. 100% HP. Flawless victory. Perfect. As that does mean Twisties is up two rounds to none. Can Cheeky turn this one around? This is going to be an interesting one. Cheeky's got a few things that he's disposable against rogues, but it is always hard to battle him. Uh, just to get that first shot off. That, that's where it's all going to come down to. Is Cheeky can spot him out, and it's going to be different. Cheeky actually not opting to throw down the totem straight away. He does start off with a searing totem. Twisty's going to be interesting here to see what he does with that. Poison totem, also casted. Twisty's into the stealth. Cheeky's just taking a sit at the moment. He's on a picnic. He doesn't care where Twisties is right here, although you can see that he has put the lightning down. Maybe anticipating getting hit first. I mean, my suggestion to Cheeky Bolts may be a little bit less of that Searing Totem. And maybe something that would, might do some damage to him. But Twisties is just using the opportunity just to, just to hold his own for the moment. He's got plenty of Time at his disposal. Fire Nova Totem has been popped down. Twisties has been hit, although Cheeky has actually taken some damage. And he has been sapped as well, although he has been healed back up because of the sap. Twisties is just playing around this one. All the totems have been cleared off. Cheeky still in a position that's not good for him. Has been cheap shotted into a gouge. We're most likely going to see a oh, kidney shot, but it doesn't look like it's being casted. <laughs> oh, Big chair lightning coming out, putting Twisties on 23% HP. Cheeky just needs to try and land some damage if he can. Twisties does manage to come forward and get another short little clap on there, but this one's a lot closer of a fight. Twisties down to 8% HP. Cheeky Bolts just trying to battle three. Does actually oh. land the earth shot there. And Twisties loses around. round. What? Cheeky Bolts standing strong. I don't think Twisties was prepared for that one. Super insane, super insane. Super, super. Wicked. Yeah, this 
you to just get yourself that mana back up before the next round does begin. Again, I'd like to point out, Cheeky still needs two more to win this one. And he needs to do them in a row, whereas Twisties only needs the one to get himself into that position. And that position being the number one dueler of TNG. Cheeky Bolt's throwing down his totems, getting prepared. The rain casting an amazing setting over the field. Twisties has gone invisible. He's starting this one up. Change of totems. He's actually going to do some damage to Twisties before he can pop out of his stealth and do some damage back. Twisties on the back foot already, although Cheeky Bolt has taken a good bit of damage. You can see grenades are being tossed out, but it's not going to land on the mark. Grenade going to throw out in response. Twisties has been stunned. The cast is coming through. 20% left on Twisties. Cheeky Bolt just needs to cast something against him. Does get down. The flank oh. shot by looks of things, and Twisties has been put down to 1%. And he's done. He has been evened up. Cheeky versus Twisties. Oh, Tied up. Next round wins it all. Now this is show. Could anyone have seen such a close fight come out? Victory or death. You see Cheeky just popping down the trying to get ready for the next fight. has been submitted twisties has accepted you can see that he's gone into that stealth straight away cheeky's just holding his own he's just sitting on the ground taunting twisties to come forward twisties being very patient with this one cheeky definitely lost for where twisties could be and seeing just moving slightly ever so forward and back Trying to bane him forward. Has dropped another totem. Waiting to see who attacks first. Cheeky does come forward. Does actually get the damage down himself. He does go straight for that totem as well. He's not giving any bit of space for Cheeky Bolts in this one. Twisty does take a bit of damage though in the meantime. But he has got Cheeky suppressed to where he wants him to be. Jumps back in that stealth. Gets down. Or tried to get down, but it worked against him. He's actually been frozen up, and now Cheeky Bolt has him in a good position. Lightning come forward, 9% of health left on Twisties. What can Twisties do here? It's just one spell, one cast away. And he does it. Oh, oh I bandaged. Just oh the God. reversal, the full oh. reversal. And it is going to be a Shaman victory. Oh, Congratulations, my mate. Lord. Ah, that was big. Get around. Wow, big man. around. Oh. That was intense. Get around cheeky on this one. Yeah, perfect music. We have ourselves the winner, the superstar of TNG, Cheeky Bolts. You won your own tournament, mate. <laughs> it's rigged. Oh, man, and had a shaman casting as well. So. My um, I used to. How did you decide third? Trinket too late, and it's still working. It should be a, a playoff, a loser playoff for semifinals. Yeah. You know what happened? It's because that people like cheeky and they had to do four fights. I am well, playing Pav for not showing up. Because <laughs> I think Pav may have been in probably a little bit of a better position. Wait. I use so many trinkets, it's like... <laughs> uh, 18. I'll take that. <laughs> no, you won't. What are you doing, Scott? I don't have that much to give. Alright, what I want to see. I want to see Twisty's take on a mage. Oh, why are you... Yeah, that would be nice. Twisty's versus the Posey. Back to I want to see a warrior take on Cheeky as well. Ronda's got a better chance. He's got a ice barrier and ice block. <laughs> yeah, but you smoked me. Yeah, but I'm fire mage against a mage. <laughs> yeah, you want fire. You know, I actually had iron Where grenades. Damage, I could have used them against uh, Cheeky. 
Cheeky bots taking on twisties yet again. They're trying to see if they can tie it up. You can hear the frantic clapping of the keys on the keyboard. Twisties. What can you do that when the pressure was on twisties? Yeah, it's a shame. <laughs> Specter versus Hot Arm. The Battle of the Tanks has taken place up here oh, as well. Oh, next time. There'll be plenty more. The Dancing Bear. Get him, Hottie. You dodged my bash, you bastard. Oh, I need my cooldowns run. <laughs> oh. I uh, got me. Once uh, Spectre got to the point where all he needed to do was execute, it seemed to be all over. I busted everything on you, Hoddy. What's going on? Doing another one. <laughs> nah, I busted Rex. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Who we got? Who so we got I actually here? froze for a bit there. How much damage did I just do to you? Um. Because uh, it went from <coughs> one, you being full health to just dead. One thousand and four. Which is almost half of opposed to HP. But I didn't realize there's no there buffs, was... so I started casting buffs before we started the fight. Twisties versus Ron's taking place. Oh, yeah, you gave me the dampened magic. <laughs> Ron has been hurt. Has also been I don't... cheap shotted. He's going to go straight into an ice block, though. Just going to slow down Twisties for the moment, although you can see that the gouge has taken place as well. The blink has come out just to get the distance. You can see a quick cast of Scorch going to take place. But Ron, oh, he just can't escape the depths of everything that Twisty 